things got pretty merry in the back. Adam, I'm Delaro Zen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me, and... Well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask. Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but being there must have... Is that what this is about? No, that was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me neuropazine? Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True, but traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? <laughs> no. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. Please, have a seat. I've been looking over your file. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? Is this gonna take long? It says here that you were with Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraph Industries Security Division. David Seraf was at the center of America's augmentation debate. Are you asking me or telling me? Which would you prefer? Not everyone's as familiar with U.S. history as you Americans would like to believe, you know. Where are you from, Doc? We're discussing your file, remember? So, it was David Seraf who had you augmented after anti-aug extremists attacked the company? Anti-aug extremists? Is that what it says in my file? Isn't that the case? The case was never solved, and they didn't just attack the company. They murdered a lot of innocent people. Including your ex-girlfriend, I understand. Megan's not dead. Is that why you joined the task force, Adam? To use Interpol resources to solve a cold case that- What happened in Detroit is ancient history, Doc. Megan, my being augmented, all of it. What happened at Rizika Station is not. So sitting around talking about the past isn't going to get me any closer to getting the people responsible. Actually, that leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But with the human restoration vote coming, well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door trying to expose and resist it. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I gonna feel? Doesn't matter what I think about it, Doc. I got a job to do. I'm here to prevent further bloodshed. Which is exactly what I intend to do. I hope that you can. Listen, Adam, I know these kinds of conversations are a pretty major pain in the ass. I really do appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. Thanks. You mean I had a choice? No, but the sentiment remains. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around.
You didn't get held up at a checkpoint or something, did you? I'm inside the clinic waiting for you. Sorry, Alex. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hope you're not losing sight of what's important here. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Don't take too long. Hey, glad you can make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Ogs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me, even got the scars to prove it. We've been working together for a few months now. I still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot, before the incident. I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama, and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's. Someone in the Collective who used to work for Bell Tower, too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating this city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Vessel Life, and Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it, because Ark don't operate in North America. They're setting up Ark, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. I agree, it doesn't look good. He's pulled me off Dubai, put me on the train station bombing. I think he's about to send me to Gollum City. The Udalek complex? <laughs> You're not gonna like it there. It was built by the Santo Group as temporary housing for transient workers. But now... Now it's home to every unlicensed dog in the Czech Republic. And it's where Ark's made its headquarters. Shit, man. What are they planning? We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about VersaLife? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. VersaLife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet, the only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? VersaLife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with ARC? 
Why frame them for breaking? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know what I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Miller, we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Looks like more overtime. My niece loves those little marionettes they used to have. The ones that look like dogs. I was going to get one for her birthday. Come on, let's get her a real 